My name is Abe Goldman. I am a teacher on special assignment at Atosa with the Union School District, uh, working with students from TK all the way to eighth grade. Uh, Union School District uh, is eight schools. It's a really small district, which I love. Uh, it's six elementary schools uh, and two middle schools in the San Jose uh, Los Gatos area. I, I support a lot of teachers uh, in my day-to-day -day job, uh, and my mission with that is to make their lives easier, so they can do you know what they what they do best, uh, and that's forming connections with students um, and meeting each individual student's needs. If there's a district that's considering uh, using Happy Numbers, I would strongly encourage it. I've had nothing but positive feedback uh, from the teachers that I work with, uh, from the students and the classrooms that I see. Probably most importantly, uh, the data really supports that it is helping learning and, and our students have shown really great strides. We've been using Happy Numbers in our district for a couple years and the reason we started to is because we wanted to support teachers uh, and teachers needed some help finding that individualized uh, instruction for students, especially in math, and Happy Numbers seemed like a really good option. Uh, it's been very easy to incorporate Happy Numbers into our existing routines. You know, the recommended um, length of time is 45 minutes a week, which if you break it up per day, it's really nothing. Uh, teachers have used it in a variety of ways. Uh, we have some teachers assign it sort of as like homework. Uh, that they can work on uh, outside of class. The most common way teachers use it is in centers. So teachers will be pulling small groups, uh, especially our elementary schools, our, our young K2 schools, uh, teachers love pulling small groups. We also had a lot of teachers use Happy Numbers as a pre-assessment uh, where they could assign topics uh, before beginning a unit of instruction. And even better was they could use the results of those assessments to guide their instruction by forming uh, groups based on their results of the pre-assessment. There's, in education, there's lots of products that are super engaging, but there's no educational value. There's no learning that happens. And Happy Numbers is a great blend of being engaging and also uh, having educational value. And, and our students showed uh, real remarkable growth with Happy Numbers. 80% of students in K2 that were below grade level pre-assessment by the end of the year reached or exceeded grade level. And, and anecdotally, being in a bunch of different classrooms, uh, kids like using it. They enjoy being on happy numbers. I would define student success in math as truly understanding the concept. Uh, it's not memorizing an algorithm, uh, but it's understanding, you know, developing a deeper number sense uh, is the term we like to use. Understanding how the numbers work how they relate to each other, seeing patterns, making connections between those patterns. Uh, but most importantly, I think, especially early on with math, it's not shutting down to the idea of math, right? Keeping the excitement um, and the, the wonder of math. Like many districts, one of our main focuses is multilingual learners. I have found that Happy Numbers has been amazing for them um, because of the strong visuals. Uh, it is not a language-heavy math lesson. Right? You're exploring with things, you're looking at things, it's all very visual, um, it sort of makes sense, it's tactile, you're moving things around, you're doing stuff. Um, so that's really helped uh, students with language processing issues, either multilingual learners, uh, special education students, you know, all, all kinds of, um, of people who would need tier two instructions. Yeah, our, our multilingual Spanish speakers uh, have also really enjoyed uh, that it is available in Spanish and not just as like an, a subtitle or automated uh, translation, that it's a, a professional voiceover. Uh, the major impact uh, for Happy Numbers has been teachers aren't just teaching one piece of content to a class, right? They can be meeting with a small group and the rest of the class can be doing such a wide variety of math. Return on investment from Happy Numbers has been happier teachers. Teachers that are not working as hard to provide a better individualized math, math content for their students.